Hey YouTube, uh, sorry I forgot to make an intro for this video, but this is the start of the street go-kart build. This was going to be the build against cars and cameras, but they replied to me and said that unfortunately they didn't have enough time to do it right now, which I completely understand. So I um, hope you enjoy the build. This is going to be one sweet go-kart. So uh, let's start this thing. Okay, so we got the go-kart up on the workbench. As you can see, it's a Murray go-kart. The metal's a little bit thin on this go-kart, but I think it'll work just fine. Now, the first thing we gotta do is uh, clean all the trash off of it. As you can see, it's been uh, setting for a good while. And then we gotta cut this steering wheel shaft off because it's made to be a right-hand drive go-kart. Um, we actually have a seat sitting on top of a seat frame. So both of those will be removed and we have a fiberglass bucket seat we're going to install on it. Um, we're going to leave the fenders and everything but this whole cage area will come off. We're going to have to unhook all these tie rod links and get uh, custom sized tie rods because we are going to put the steering wheel in the center. So um, what we'll do first is go ahead and pull the seat off. Go ahead and cut the steering wheel and get all the steering unbolted. And um, probably go ahead and cut this little old footrest off for the passenger and take that cage off so without further ado let's jump right into this okay we're going to start off by getting all this junk out of the uh, go-kart frame so let's clean this baby up real quick Okay, now we got the uh, body all cleaned up, uh, halfway decent. We're gonna go ahead and take off the tie rod links and uh, go ahead and remove this steering shaft and uh, probably cut it right along the frame right here and get rid of all this. And uh, I'm gonna leave this break for right now uh, because we may be able to just leave it alone. steering the steering arms off tie rod links and uh, we can set those aside we're probably not going to be using either one of these um, we're going to just order some custom custom link tie rod in so those will get put a, put aside for maybe uh, use later I'm gonna go ahead and take this steering wheel off which is a uh, three seven sixteenths nuts we will not be reusing this plastic steering wheel um, we have a quick release pretty much a standard car steering wheel for this pop this steering wheel the rest of the way off I'm not too big of a fan of the plastic steering wheels I'm a big guy so if I'm going around the curve uh, pretty fast then I'm relying on the steering wheel to uh, help hold me in the go-kart so uh, Plastic and a big guy don't mix too well. You get a lot of steering wheel bend. But um, and the steering wheel we're putting on this may be a little bit too big. Uh, we just got to try it out and uh, see. Okay, now we're going to start disassembling this rear section uh, to get it ready for the straight axle. Um, I've searched over this chain and it does not have a master link, um, which is pretty strange to me. You would think all chains have a master link, but I've. Uh, I went around this thing a few times and I can't seem to find the master link. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and pull the tire off and the chain will come along with that. And we're also going to bend up all these keys, uh, these cotter keys that hold this uh, brake rods in because we're getting rid of the drum brake and putting a disc brake on. So let's get to disassembling this thing. keys out and I can pull this brake rod off and uh, now the we just got to take the axle nut off of each side to pull these tires off 
All right, now we got this uh, back tire loosened up. I'm gonna take this puppy off. All right. Set all that aside. Remove those washers. I got one more clip in here I gotta take off. It's holding this uh, drum brake on because we're switching it over to uh, disc brakes, dirt bike hydraulic disc brakes to be exact. I'm gonna keep this brake. Last time I threw it away, and uh, I don't know why, when I took it, took it off another go kart. It's always handy to keep that. All right, now I'm gonna pull this rotate off real quick because we definitely aren't keeping it on there. seat off and get it out of our way and uh, then we're going to cut that axle that that one wheel pull axle tube thing off and the engine plate and as well as this uh, steering arm has to go because like I said it's right hand drive right now and we're going to center it up this and you can kind of see how thin wall this metal is it's pretty pretty poop metal but now I'm going to uh, probably try to cut this little footrest off because we will no longer need it and I definitely need to stiffen this thing up because um, this middle rod is not welded anywhere so I think it's uh, might be bolted yeah it's bolted down the center so I'm gonna clean it up and uh, and do some beads along this sheet metal welding it to this uh, pipe and I'm also wherever the steering rod uh, the steering arm meets this uh, bar I'm also going to put some thicker flat stock um, just to stiffen this thing up because this is definitely not strong enough uh, because I'm 260 pounds I know where's it at red beard you look 140 at most but uh, I don't want to bend this puppy as soon as I sit on it frame bind Freaking chain snaps off, hits me in the back of the head, red beard garage over, sponsor's gone. Okay, we got this rear axle uh, all cut off. And um, by the way, if you can tell a quality difference, that's because I'm not using the cannon. But we got the axle cut off and everything. And now I knew this go-kart was made out of thin metal, but that is ridiculous how thin it is. And uh, Trey trying to sneak in like a ninja. What a jack wagon. Uh, but I just got to cut these welds off this engine plate, get them cut the rest of the way through, and then I can start looking on how to stiffen this up back here so the axle will get a good, you know, the axle hangers on each side is going to get a good enough bite. Okay, now we got that engine plate cut off. Now I'm going to clean up uh, all these old welds and all this old junk build up on this, but we're going to reuse this engine plate. I'm just going to cut it down, probably cut about an inch off of each side. Maybe not quite that much, maybe a half inch, but we'll do that at a later time. Uh, now we need to go ahead and put those axle hangers on the actual axle shaft that's uh, covered behind all that metal back there. And uh, we'll be able to mock up where exactly we want it to, to set back here. What we're going to do is weld this flange on, kind of sitting low on this bar. Um, and then what I'll do is take flat stock and kind of box in this side so it can be welded more of a bite on this because this is thin metal so I'm afraid over time it may bend. Okay we got these uh, axle hangers welded on. Uh, beg my pardon on my welds. Uh, they're not the prettiest but I was readjusting my welder in the middle of this. Uh, this one's the best looking one. Trust me. 
but I had to my gas somehow got turned all the way up I don't know if my son was messing with it or when I put my bottle there okay so we got these pieces cut as you can see they're um, cut at a 45 until half of the flat stock and then I just did a straight cut and these are three and a half inch pieces so as you can see they fit right there perfect um, so what we'll do is put a bead uh, we'll weld this completely but first we're going to put a tack down bottom tack up top and a tack right there weld the other side on and uh, tack it all on and then we'll do the final welds after it's all tacked but these are going to be pretty strong okay so we got these axle hangers all boxed in i think they turned out pretty nice pretty nice i'll probably uh i might end up welding the rear of them i'm a perfectionist and it bugs me that the rear isn't welded welded but um i don't know yet i mean that's definitely enough um from this side that hole was already there by the way i didn't burn that in there uh, there was some kind of bracket there before okay since this center pipe is so thin and weak i actually unbolted it from the sheet metal um so now what i'm going to do is remove that center pipe right now i'm taking the brake pedal off i've already got it unbolted and i'm going to take this square tubing actually like i used on my roof rack over there and uh, run it from the front all the way to the back and also tee it up here for strength and then i'll take some flat stock and run right at that sheet metal across to uh, strengthen it as well and uh maybe even run a piece about where that little break rod is right there run a piece right there but i really want this thing to be real strong because you know i'm a bigger guy and i definitely want this thing to be you know pretty rigid so i uh, just got to knock that uh this pedal out and unhook it from back there and then we should be able to pull all this off and start laying down our new uh square tubing Okay, so I got this piece of flat stock to uh, go across and kind of support the uh, center rod. I got to bend uh, this metal down. It's humped up a little bit, the sheet metal. And then I got this piece of square tubing. As you can see, it's pretty thick walled. It's going to run down the center where that old thinner pipe did and uh, be welded to this uh, thinner piece of flat stock and then go on back to where the engine's going to sit, kind of in this uh, open hole right there. Then I'm going to take another piece of square tubing, about along where this 2x4 is, somewhere around that, and uh, weld another brace, uh, you know, one side to side, two pieces of square tubing, one coming from each side connecting to this center post, and then it'll just be welded to this piece of square tubing uh, right there. Okay, so I got that piece of square tubing ran down. Uh, we welded it right there, as well as tacked it all the way to the sheet metal. I'm probably going to put another tack right in this uh, area right here. But then I took this piece of flat stock and uh, tacked it to the sheet metal as well as to that square tubing and then ran it across. And it is tacked underneath as well, or welded underneath as well. So um, that gave it a little bit more of a brace. It still needs quite a bit because, uh, I mean, that's just a piece of, you know, eighth inch thick flat stock. This is a good weld up here, but um, that's, of course, not enough. Okay, with the engine plate, this is what I decided to do. I took and uh, welded this bar in here and I kind of uh, rounded off my cut this isn't welded all the way around by the way um, but I rounded off that piece of pipe so it fit that square tubing so it fit against the pipe really well and uh, then this is going to kind of set uh, centered on this pipe uh, kind of like that right there and get welded on and then uh, at the back of it I'm going to do uh, a square tubing going from you know from this to one side and from there to the other side to brace it up back here as well uh and then my disc brake will actually ride perfectly right here on the axle and only be like maybe an inch away from this square tubing and then i can mount my caliper right here and then uh, run the uh the line up with the master cylinder and mount it somewhere right along here so i can still work that brake pedal uh, just fine okay we got uh, the engine plate all welded up and the uh, the crossbars for strength the brake rotor will sit right there and the sprocket will be there and then of course there'll be one more brace like i had mentioned for the the steering uh to strengthen it up but just come along come along that's about the only thing we got left to do is uh is steering and mount that brake pedal because uh, like i said i'm going to mount it side uh, by side with the gas pedal and get that all nice and set up but uh, i do got to grind all the paint off this and uh, what we're going to do is grind all the paint off of it, primer it, and then uh, put it together, ride it, 
then disassemble the whole entire thing go get it sandblasted and um, then we're going to paint it red again so it's all nice and new looking